This is the bus that we are handing over to City FM to help with the war against indiscipline. The presentation is in fulfillment of the authorities' promise about two months ago after management of City TV and City FM called on it to partner the War Against Indiscipline campaign. The chief executive officer of the TVLA, Kwesi Ajimaimbusia, lauded the campaign. For him, it's a great initiative that will help the authority achieve its vision. He announced plans of making it easier for commercial drivers, popularly known as trotro drivers, to get certification through the front door. We should be um, going to production before the end of the year, is to make it possible for commercial drivers who are not certified by us to come through the front door, meaning make the test that has been a problem for some of them translate into their native languages and a point screen so they can pass the test. Our view is that regardless of what we do, they are going to drive. So let them be certified. Let them come through the front doors against living in the shadows and, and then being afraid to, to do what they will do anyway, but get them certified. They're compliant with the law. If they get stopped, they can uh, confidently show their paper and move on. On his part, the managing director of City TV and City FM, Samuel Atamensa, urged road users to refrain from undisciplined conduct that endangers the lives of other road users. I'm yes. most grateful, um, and it will go uh, right into helping uh, arrest the recalcitrant ones <laughs> on our streets. <laughs> and so just be on the lookout. The, 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 the point is not to catch you do the wrong thing, it's to influence you do the right thing. Yes. So that's the whole idea. But what will be the role of the DVLA enforcement officials when they join the War Against Indiscipline campaign? We have a live system where we can check the authenticity of driver's licenses. So our team will be doing that. So as and when any uh, vehicle is stopped, obviously the first thing will be to ask for the drivers. I'm sure the police do that. Meanwhile, the authority disclosed to City News a plan to certify ride-hailing app drivers effective November 1, 2019 to weed out unqualified drivers from the sector. There are no new charges. There are existing rates. We pay them the, the fee for the service. We do the conversion. Ideally, the vehicle should have been converted to a commercial vehicle. But because we recognize the importance of technology in, 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 in the transport space, what we have done is to convert that digitally. So we still allow you to keep your private registration, but permitted to operate in the commercial space. So once that is done, you are issued a unique identifier in the form of a sticker. And you have to affix that on the front um, top right corner of your vehicle windscreen. If anything happens, we can quickly go into the system and find out who was driving this vehicle at which time, and it can help um, as far as security uh, is concerned. Drivers of ride-hailing technologies are entreated to get their stickers, and riders are also encouraged to always look out for this sticker to ensure that the driver is authorized. The coming of this van to support the efforts of the War Against and Discipline team will definitely see more recalcitrant drivers arrested. However, as said, the aim of the initiative is not to arrest you, but to influence you to be the change. Caleb Kuda for City News.